it's a Prada kind of day. Yes, I have the new Prada Beauty products. I picked up foundation, eyeshadow, and one of the lipsticks in soft matte. I did not get the, I think it's hyper matte. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna talk about the products from their inception, what the idea is behind the products, the price point, packaging, all that good stuff. So hey everyone, as you might be able to tell, I'm kind of excited today because I get to try a new line of uh, beauty, which I just think is great. I, I love, I love, I love, this is what I live for. I love trying out like new things, colorful things. I think it's just fantastic. I've been a long time fan of uh, Prada. In fact, Prada, uh, Prada had a beauty line years ago and I don't think I actually ever bought anything from it. I don't think I ever owned anything from it. I'll put up some pictures if I can find them. I'm sure there's some on, on the internet, but um, but I knew this was coming for a little while. And I'm just I'm just thrilled. Uh, so you know, there's been a couple of pictures that we've seen. I, I posted some things as well. The color stories of the eyeshadows looked really interesting. I have more detail on where those color stories come from, and I'll get to that in the, when we get to the eyeshadows. Um, and I think there's just some cute little details that Prada did for this launch, which I think really escalate their level of uh, luxury because if you're going to do a luxury launch and if you're going to you know have price points that are pretty high you have to go that extra mile otherwise you know why why buy them why, why purchase them so uh let's talk about the foundation i have it on now i've been wearing it for a little while i actually wore it the other day as well i'll be honest i'm I'll talk about the, the packaging stuff, but I just want to get it out of the way. I'm not sure about my thoughts about it right now. Um, I have dry skin. I have uh, rosacea, so I have sensitive skin. It absolutely doesn't irritate my skin in any way, and it looks actually beautiful. I ended up with LN10, which is light neutral 10. Uh, I usually go with a cool shade, but more and more I've started to try to find shades that have more like a peach, like a neutral, true neutral. Uh, to match my neck more, even though my face is cooler. And I find that sometimes that works. Uh, for some brands, it works extremely well because their neutrals are truly neutral. And then other brands, their neutrals are yellow. <laughs> it doesn't work. But this worked phenomenally well. I think the match is excellent. I have a little bit of contour on um, and like bronzer, no bronzer, but like some contour around my face just to give it a little bit of shape as we were you know, talking about the products. So let's talk about the foundation. Comes in this box. It's an Echo Design product. Uh, reduce this refillable packaging helps decrease waste generation, reload, refill your protective care with the minimalist foundation bottle, and respect by using this certified carpet box. Product supports forest management that respects uh, people and nature. So they spent a lot of time and energy and I think planning to make this more um, of a sustainable product. The packaging itself looks like this. This is the bottle. Um, it says Prada on the front and then the little square when you turn it around it says Prada on the back. Um, on the bottom it says Prada Reveal Foundation. The shade, is it on the bottom? If it is, it's super, super tiny. Um, so I would need a uh, magnifying glass to see it. It's got a pump. Pump at the top. And then this bottle just comes right out. So here's the packaging. It's like a clear plastic tube. It's not glass, it's plastic. So again, you know, good for travel. You don't want glass. I mean, there's reasons we'll get, I'm not going to go into the whole plastic versus glass thing, but if you're traveling and you, and you drop this, it's not going to break into a million views. Um, and then this is the Prada Reveal Foundation in LN10. And that's the, that's the refill. You can see the number right there on the front hopefully that yeah there we go and that's what it looks like uh, i did pictures um on my hand in uh sunlight put those up again for you so you can see i think the match is really good i'm actually stunned that it matches that well with my neck because i mean i guessed I totally guessed online, which I just, you know, that never works. And it worked, so I'm thrilled. Everything else has been terrible this week, like really awful. So this is awesome. Um, I also have a little bit of video in front of a, a window. Not the greatest lighting, but at least you can see how it looks on my skin close up and in direct light. 
the, the worst light, but you know, for all of you, I'll, I'll show you how it looks. Uh, so this is considered the uh, Prada Reveal Foundation Skin Optimizing Foundation. It's refillable. It's $70 with the packaging, like that. The refill is $55. So very reasonable for one fluid ounce. And once you have the packaging, you just pay the $55. Um, like I said, I have, uh, <coughs> excuse me, light neutral 10. In neutral, there's a shade down five, light, light neutral five. And then of course, there is the cool shades and the um, warm shades. And I wanna tell you a little bit of background on this foundation, which I thought was really interesting. It says it's available in 33 flexible shades, AI technology powered and human tailored. The shade design is based on an algorithm of 3000 different skin tones scanned for shade optimization, made for different skin tones and skin types, including sensitive skin, which my skin is. Um, it says that it refines the skin in three dimensions, including tone, luminosity, and texture to reveal a soft filtered skin in real life. It does seem to do that. Uh, breathable, soft matte finish, 24 hour wear, medium buildable coverage foundation infused with IRL, in real life micro filter technology. This technology consists of a smart molecule that micro crystallizes onto the skin. I don't know how it does that. I'm not a scientist. Um, it is light proof and transfer resistant. Potent ingredients optimize skincare over time. Vitamin E, 100% um, active niacinamide, which is vitamin B, uh, enhances skin natural radiance and hydration, and lactobacillus extract complex refines skin texture. Now, like I said, I actually am looking in my 10X mirror. I gotta say, guys, my skin looks phenomenally good in the mirror, and I actually think it looks good on camera. Um, it's a question of where I never give foundation rankings or reviews, uh, like in-depth reviews until I've worn it in all different kinds of conditions, different times of year, throughout a day, going outside in the rain, all that stuff. But I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the idea of using AI for this. I think that's an excellent way to use a new technology. You know, often we say, when we look at these colors or the foundations or lipsticks, we're like, who was this made for? Did they not look at all? You know, there's pictures of, of people everywhere on the internet. Why not actually gather that information and come up with shades that would work for people? And that is what they did. They took 3000 different skin tones and scanned them in to better understand how to optimize the shades and came up with 33 shades. And like I said, this light neutral is the first time I've used a new, well, I just said the first time. It's one of the few times I've used a neutral that was truly neutral, that it's not pink, it's not yellow, it's like peach, you know, it's like a neutral peach, which is really what I think I am. I do have cool undertones because of the rosacea, but I think the rest of my skin, everywhere else, is more neutral. Um, it definitely leans cool and it has that peach tone to it, but a neutral shade kind of evens out my skin tone. Problem is I usually can't use a neutral because most of the neutrals I've seen it, for at least in my experience, have leaned yellow. So really impressed with, with that and amazed that they did that. And, and I don't know how they did it. I mean, I, I, don't, I know kind of how AI works and the scanning process and everything, but I just think it's a fantastic use of, of, of a great technology. Um, so the refillable pack, it's, you just, I showed you, plugs in and plugs out. And um, purchasing a foundation refill means reducing packaging by 62% when compared to repurchasing a new foundation. So there you go. I'll give you more updates on the foundation as I wear it. But I have to say, I'm like, you know, it says it's a soft mat. That's how it describes itself. Um, how they describe it, it doesn't describe itself. The AI is not the foundation. Um, but it says breathable soft matte finish. But I have to say, I mean, yeah, I guess it does look uh, like a soft matte, it doesn't look radiant on my skin, but it doesn't look dry. It doesn't make me look like, it doesn't settle into lines. I'm not having issues, but again, you gotta let these things wear out. You know, like you have to wear them for a while. It's, it's This is the first impression, but I wanted to get this up because I know everyone's very excited. And thank you for all your feedback on, um, on Instagram, basically wanting this immediately. So <laughs> go to that. All right, we're gonna do the eyeshadows last because I know there's a lot of interest in there. Uh, the lipstick, packaging, same kind of thing. You've got the Prada, uh, logo in square on the front and back. 
I thought about wearing Prada something today, guys, like um, earrings or Prada clothes or something. I don't have any. <laughs> I have a Prada bag, but that's it. I don't have Prada ready, ready to wear. I don't have Prada earrings, and I was just like, I have too much going on with life and work, and I was just like, <laughs> this is the best I can do. Uh, so the cap looks like this. Got the Prada triangle logo, which I, I do admit I love. This is what the bullet looks like, um, and I'll tell you the color I got in just a second. It's kind of a sharp look. And like I said, I didn't get the hyper matte. I just got the soft matte. I, I'm not a fan of matte lipsticks. It was it was even out of my comfort zone, frankly, to, to get a soft matte lipstick. But I wanted to try it all for all of you, so, so I did. Um, I'm going to put up a picture of the... Um, the actual bullet, which again, little things about the, how they did this with luxury. I love the fact that the the embossing on the lipstick has that like Saffiano leather that they're famous for. They're embossing on their bags, so it has that same you know look, and then it has the luminosity supposedly uh, of the Prada nylon fabric. Um, in the diffuse colors, so I just I think I, I just I, I love the fact that they incorporated that into the into the line. I mean, they are a fashion house, and you know, Prada's Prada, so just think that's great. Uh, so it says Prada Monochrome Soft Matte Lipsticks delivers adjustable, buildable coverage, soft diffuse matte, six hours, minimal feel on the lips, so it's supposed to be light. Uh, formulated with microfit technology, the texture glides seamlessly, fusing in contact with the lips, weightless, and fused with. Bifidus extract and jojoba oil. Um, Prada monochrome lip quality looks visibly upgraded, lip barrier protected, strengthened. 13 luminous matte, luminous matte, which I always think is interesting. Luminous matte colors are formulated with a white base and only three pure pigments. To recall the luminosity of the Prada nylon fabric and soft diffuse colors that flatter all skin tones. Uh, also can be used in the treats for a natural blush effect, which I'm gonna do today, which is why I don't have any blush on. Designed to be refillable. Has a triangle-shaped bullet for effortless application. Blah, 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 blah. So, again, um, pull it out. It's like, you know, any of the refills that you have, like La Bouche Rouge or any other lipsticks that you have that are refillable. I know Chanel does them, too. Just pop it back in. Snaps into place. Um, as I said, there are 13 shades. The lipstick itself is $50, and the refills are $40. So, and that's for both the uh, soft mats and the hyper mats. Hyper mats, uh, like I said, I did not pick up. There are four. At least it shows four colors here. It says uh, maximal, it says maximal, delivers maximal uh, color in one stroke coverage, sophisticated matte finish, 12 hours, minimal feel. Uh, whole thing about you know, the same ingredients, whole oil, Bifidus extract, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, lip quality looks visibly upgraded over time. 13, they have 13, I'm sorry. 13 uh, profound colors formulated with a black base and only three pigments. And they are there to reproduce the, they, uh, they have the um, pigments to reproduce the Saffiano leather high intensity color depth. So that's interesting. So the luminosity is in the soft mats from the nylon and then the uh, high intensity color depth is in the, the hyper mats, but the finish on here is still that Safiano. Well, you saw it in the picture. I'll put it back up again. The Safiano like embossed leather. So I just think that's awesome. Okay, I just love the little touches. I mean, if you're gonna do luxury, give us give us all the things, right? I mean, you know, you're you're spending seventy dollars on a lipstick. I'm sorry, you're spending fifty dollars on a lipstick. Make sure that you uh, you're giving the folks what they want. Okay, so we're gonna try this on. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. The color is B101 Typolo, and I'm looking at the size here, 0.13 ounces. It's a relatively re regular lipstick case, uh, size. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Uh, 24 months, by the way, on the lipstick, and on the 12 months on the foundation, which sounds about right. Okay, so it's got a little triangle like the Prada triangle there on the top. And I'm going to use that to uh, swatch the color on my hand, ruining the pretty, <laughs> pretty triangle. And uh, let's try it on the lips. 
Now, first let me say I did have a little bit of um, a meal cordon lip balm on because I always, my lips are very dry. I have to take all these different steps. Um, but it had been on for a while, so it wasn't like, you know, I just put it on. That feels really nice. <laughs> does not feel like a matte. That's really interesting. Now, what I'm looking at right now is just the scent. There's a scent here. I wonder if it's on the package. You might just say perfume. All of this is perfume. You know what it smells like to me? Iris. It smells like iris. Like a soft, powdery iris lavender. Like, um, what's the sh uh, perfume? Lipstick? Oh, shoot. Frederick Malls lipstick something. I can't think of it right now. It has that smell. Like old lipsticks used to smell. I shouldn't say old. Lipsticks that, that were like made in the 50s and 60s. Yeah, I think it's iris. It's beautiful. Now, if you don't like perfume in your lipstick or any of your products, you're not going to like that. But, um, you know, I, I, I love that touch. Okay, now, I do want to mention uh, when it comes to the lipsticks. And I, I will talk about this in the... Um, the eyeshadows, which is coming right up. It's coming right up. So the one I got, B101, Typolo. Typolo, the modern nude imbued with nostalgia, nostalgia and timeless elegance. Uh, Auburn, the contemporary expression of a delightful burnt brown. Not a crowd pleaser, but paradoxically you. I'm going to have to get that shade. Gonna have to get over. Uh, Granado, uh, the bright red that celebrates the preciousness of life. Put a prey, the scarlet pink as a symbol of luxury, abundance, and elegance. Flamingo, the vibrant orange that lifts the mood towards the unexpected. I could totally be lifting a mood right now. I gotta tell you guys, say it again, I've had the worst week. Uh, just so bad. You know, but you gotta, you just gotta keep swimming, right? That's just how it goes. Uh, Got to keep at it. Uh, let's see. Four. And I'm, there's a whole bunch of other shades. I don't see. Do I see any other shades on here? All right. Well, if I can find descriptions of the other shades, I will put them on there. But anyway, love the shade. I think it's great. I'll have more updates soon. Definitely have to get the Auburn shade because, uh, you know, it's just it's necessary. All right. Let's get to the eyeshadow. I know you guys are all excited about the eyeshadows and I'm excited about the eyeshadows because I really think they look different. I will say they reminded me a little bit. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but Yves Saint Laurent, I think up until recently had like, um, an envelope looking, uh, eyeshadow palette, which these do kind of remind me of a little bit, which I thought was interesting. Um, you know, it's definitely not the same, but it has a similar vibe. And Suku used to have like triangles, uh, on their blushes. Um, it's a triangle. I mean, what can you do? Uh, Prada Dimensions, durable multi-effect eyeshadow. It is refillable, $80 with the case, $65 without the case. I got one case with the case, which I smudged. Please hold. All right, well, it's still smudged, but I'm doing my best. Uh, so there's the Prada logo. You can see that. I'll try to get it so it doesn't have as much reflection. There we go. You can see my camera, but that's okay. So it's really pretty. It's raised. Can you see it's got like that raised... Uh, little like bevel and then on the side here there's a little lip and you just pull it up there's the Prada mirror and then the beautiful shades and then the two little bra um, Prada little brush and a little sponge and they both say Prada on it I'll make sure the pictures are up so you can see like in detail um, and then the shades that I picked up so I have this one which I'll give you the names of and the, and the numbers in just a second and this one. All right. Now, I had a tough time deciding, I'll be honest, like on shades. I was a little, I didn't know which ones to get. Um, the one with the blue, um, this one here, is make sure I have the right numbers and the right shades because this is 05 Pure. And then this is 04 Poetry. There are six, six different color stories. Now, I think they did a really interesting thing like they did with the lipsticks. Um, they have uh, the fashion curated combinations from patterns to pigments. So, Portrait, which is 01, which has that gorgeous purple. Perfusion, which I will give you the name, like the description. Portrait, uh, portrait of reinvented nudes with an azalea twist, which is that purple. Uh, perfusion, a perfusion, uh, a perfusion of smoky colors with a chartreuse yellow. Pulp, 
uh, organic apricot shades enveloped with an invented, reinvented pink. Just love that. That's awesome. Uh, poetry, which I have. A poem composed by a dusky pink with a hint of billiard, billiard green. It does remind me of billiard. Like, um, cool. Like, that's the green. Absolutely. Uh, pure. A pure and contrasted look with a celestial blue. Love it. Pulse. Fearless violets with a pulse of vibrant orange. Really interesting. I might have to get that one. Those really, really interesting color stories. And they're from fabrics, which I just thought was... I wondered when I looked at it, I was like, how did they come up with those color stories? It's really interesting. Uh, so, I'm going to show you as a, a, you know, practice here. Okay, so there's a little sticky thing on the back of the refill. Let me show it to you. Right there. So that's how you're going to stick it back in. I am not going to touch that. I'm going to leave that alone. Um, so if you want to put this in the, you know, the refill, my understanding is it's going to stick in there. These are 0.21 ounces. Now, I don't know. Let me see if I can figure out how this would pop out. Is there a way? Oh, okay. I see. There's a, on the back of the, the packaging. So if you push on the back triangle here, you see this? There we go. A little hard to see. It's so reflective. Um, if you push on that, there's a little mechanism in here that pushes it out. See that? So you can put it right back in like that. And so that's how you put the new one in when you put this one in. But I'm not going to take the little sticky thing off the back. Um, so I'm going to do one on, the, on both eyes, one on each eye, so you guys can see both color stories today because I know you're all excited. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about the colors. So the, the color on the top is a hyper matte. Um, the color here, the little gold shade in this one, is the Luminize uh, Metal Foil. I'm sorry, the, the shade here is uh, Metal Foil. The shade in the middle is a satin, and then the shade here is a soft matte. So we have a hyper matte, a soft matte, a satin, and a metal foil. The hyper matte is the more Saffiano, um, as I said, in the lipstick. It's that intense color, and the um, soft matte is that luminous um, uh, nylon bag, if that helps you. So again, this is the hyper matte, like in the lipstick, soft matte in like the lipstick I got. This is definitely softer, as you see in the in the swatches. I'll keep the swatches up as I do the look. It's a much softer look. This is a satin. This is this metal foil. Now, they do have uh, instructions about how to use these shades. You don't have to use them the way that they suggest, but you can certainly do that if you'd like. Um, and then it does say a couple things about the, the shadows themselves. As I said, inspired by iconic prints, I showed you those. Three sophisticated neutrals and a single eccentric accent in four dynamic finishes, as I explained. Satin, soft matte, hyper matte, and metal foil. Uh, an invitation to explore all your dimensions. An experiment, endless combinations of easy to wear, easy to dare, looks with maximal color expression. I love that. A uh, low pressure injection process with micro pixel pigments, which deliver one stroke payoff with high color resolution. Hybrid creamy powder finish eyeshadows blend and layer without fallout, while their skin affinity products, weightless comfort, and 12 hour durable wear infused with Plucentia Volubilis Oil, Prada Dimensions offers a seamless glide on application and gives the eyelids a smoother look after 28 days of consistent use. I will take that. All right, so um, the way that they sort of suggest to use this, and again, you can use these any way you want, is sort of line your eyes with this, use this on the eye, use this in this outer corner, sort of a soft effect, and use this on the inner corner as like a brightener, shiny, whatever. You could use this all over the eye, make this the shiny look. You, you could do so many different things. It's a great thing about makeup, right? You can be creative, you can do things um, in the way that you want. So um, I'm gonna use, like I said, both eyeshadows. Um, I'm gonna do them in different ways. So I'm gonna use different products on different sides. So on one side, I'll do it kind of the way they suggest, if you will, with the um, Hyper Matte as liner, this all over the eye, this on the inner corner, and this on the outer corner. The Soft Matte, like I said, is a very soft, as I showed you in the, in the swatches, it is very soft. Um, so the pop of color shade is a softer shade, which I think is really interesting. Um, before I do that though, I forgot to take the lipstick. I got so excited about the, uh, about the, the eyeshadows. Not that I'm not excited about the other stuff. I'm just layering it on there, guys, just right on the face, because 
Why not? Taking the best brush I've ever ever had for for uh, cream products, Sheer Buffer Brush from Sonia G, and let's buff. Honestly, guys, if you haven't bought this brush, buy this brush. Seriously, you know I'm not like that. Like I, I well, if you've watched me. <laughs> and hi, if you haven't been here before, hi, my name is Jennifer, and I love everything luxury. Beauty, fashion, it runs the gamut. I used to be a uh, makeup artist for Chanel half a lifetime ago. And I would love it if you would uh, click down below, subscribe. It really makes a huge difference. Um, I really am trying by the end of this year to grow this channel. I appreciate everybody's comments about like why I don't have more followers. I love that. Thank you so much. So incredibly kind for you all to say. Um, you know, it really is a matter of YouTube sharing my videos and sharing my content. So the more you like, the more you hit the little like button um, or dislike button, although that would make me sad, but you know, um, not everybody loves the same things. Comment, share, all those things makes a huge difference and really helps me, you know, continue to build out this channel because I, I would like to stay here on YouTube and, and Instagram and other places for a long time if I can. So my little segue there. Okay, so this is a great brush, um, but I was saying um, I don't like, I'm not one of those people who'd be like, you must buy this now. This is the best thing. In fact, Usually I'm the person who's who tells you, don't buy it, it'll be fine, it's just makeup, you can get something else. But this brush, it's a phenomenally good brush, I gotta tell you, it makes everything look great. Uh, I think this would look great anyway, but yeah, I gotta say, that's a really nice, soft, now this is one of the like lighter shades uh, that I picked up, but it's a really soft, beautiful look, and that, you know, that worked really well. I'm not usually like a multi-use person. I'm not somebody who likes something so much when it's like, blush and lipstick and blush, you know, I'm always like, yeah, but this worked well. I like it. So I was proven wrong from the get-go. All right, so I'm going to speed through as I process, when I do this, I'm not going to talk through it, but I am going to show you the look and what I'm doing first. So I'm going to take this, I'm actually going to line my eye with it, and let's see how that works. Oh, beautiful, seamless, as they said. Now this is something that you can do last, first, what I'm doing and the reason I'm doing it first is I want you to see the color and I want you to see the payoff because this, as they said, was the shade that is the hyper matte. This has the most intensity and I will say it absolutely does. Plus when I put it down, when I put the other shades on top of it, it'll kind of uh, soften that shade. But it's definitely like a, I'd say like a rusty brown almost. Really pretty. I happen to love a good rusty brown. All right, now we're gonna take the satin shade in the middle. These are very creamy, and I have to say, there has been no fallout, which, not so impressive. I mean, no fallout at all? Like, okay. This shade is very similar to the Hyper Matte shade. It's lighter in intensity. Uh, it definitely has a similar vibe. I'm gonna kind of pull it a little up into the brow, like I've done this before, I've shown in other videos. I kind of diffuse it up into the brow so it just keeps some of that shade, but you know, not too much of it. Well, that's really pretty. If you like like a warm, chestnutty, reddish, well, it's not reddish, I'd say it's burnt umber, brown, red. That's really pretty. It matches my hair. Now we're gonna take the gold shade, which is again the, what did I call it? I have to go back. I forgot the name. What is the name? Metal foil, we're gonna take the metal foil. Uh, and I'm going to use just like a small Sonia G like mini booster. I don't really want to use an inner corner brush because I want it to be bigger than that. Like I want it to take up more space than just the inner corner. I kind of want it to be, yeah, that's, whoa. Oh my goodness. That is, that, that's impressive. Like I, okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, the, the metal foil shade is no joke. Like that went on like a metal foil. Like it, I'm diffusing it into the eye a little bit, but wow. Yeah, okay. You have a mature eye, you have some texture, you have like worry about dragging. No, that's not gonna be a problem. And I can tell you right now, let's say I'm not gonna do it with this one, I'll do it with the other one. If I wanted to put that gold shade like on the lid, oh my goodness, that would be just also just gorgeous. Now I'm gonna fall in love with another, because I love the YSL and the clay to pose. I'm like, guys, you gotta, I, I gotta have a break here. I can't, I can't keep spending money. I have not made of money, but I will tell you guys, the more you share, like, and subscribe to my channel, the more I can take that, because views equal, you know, we don't get paid here on YouTube, but we get 
So, and more people who view our videos, more people who watch our videos, we do get paid a small fee for, for people viewing and watching, and we can put that back into buying more makeup so that we can show all of you. All right, let's try the blue. Now the blue, like I said, is a very soft, um, soft matte. It has that luminosity that the, supposedly that the um, nylon bags have. I always wanted a nylon bag from Prada when I was, when was that, the 90s? I couldn't afford it. I'd gotten out of law school in 97 and I did not have any money. Yeah, I was trying to get by in DC, so I'll tell you, I didn't have one, but oh, I loved those. Loved those bags. They've re-released them, but you know, now I'm older and <laughs> frankly don't really want them like I did when I was younger. You know how that is. But I do love, I still love a, a good, a good nylon product bag. Okay, now again, I know this might be a little out of like the color story for some folks, but it, this is really beautiful. Like it's the, the, all the shades in here, I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue and just pop it like a little bit here to kind of mirror. I have to tell you like how smoothly that all went on. And when they were saying like one swipe, yeah, it's one swipe and it feels incredibly light and smooth. Now I will say, like I said, this is a more, I get it. This is a more colorful look with the blue like this and the gold on the inside. I will admit um, most of the time the way I would do this is I would take this shade and use it as transition, this shade to deepen it, this shade all over the eye, and then I take the blue shade maybe as a pop on the inner corner or I might not use the blue at all, and then the next time do like these two shades together, as I hold this up, sorry, as I'm just talking with it down here. Um, this, this shade all over the eye, this shade to intensify, this shade all over the eye, and this shade is like a pop on the inner corner, or maybe on the outer corner, but just like a light touch of it, or maybe even line. Um, or I would just use like these two shades together. I think these two would look beautiful together, actually. I think putting this on the eye, if you wanted a blue look, and have this like as transition would also be lovely. So these are all great shades and they look, they went on seamlessly and they, they look beautiful. All right, so now on this side, like I said, I'm gonna do it a little differently. I'm not gonna do it the way that they said. Um, I'm gonna use the, um, the foil on the eyelid. I'm gonna use this as transition and then I'm gonna use this to line. I'm gonna, but I'm also gonna use it to intensify and then I'm gonna use that as a pop on the inner corner. So we're gonna try, you know, again, it's a little different than they are suggesting, but that's, I, I don't think that anyone at Prada is gonna be like, you used it wrong. I don't think anyone at Prada is gonna be watching this, but if they were, I think they'd be fine with it because I think the whole point is being creative. Uh, you know, if you're a fashion house like Prada, creativity is a good thing. All right, let's use that satin shade as like I said, as a transition. And I, I am gonna be focusing a little bit more on some fashion trends. We're gonna talk about fall, cause I love fall collections. Um, a little bit, you know, about like how different brands have different aesthetics and what might be right for you. Some more like analysis stuff too, about like, you know, what trends are and why and all that good stuff. So that's that shade, that's a beautiful, neutral like that is it's almost this color of my skin but a little pinker i really like that shade it's an unusual shade i don't know what you'd call that it's not tan it's like it's like a light mushroom i don't know i like it all right so i'm gonna take the the brown shade this the hyper matte shade uh i need to use a smaller brush here okay so i want to just intensify lightly and like i said this is more pigmented so i'm just gonna go in super light here at first just tracing the outline. Oh, and that's so interesting. When you mix this with that color, it, you get like a purple. You see that? I mean, it's brown, but it's, it's like a cool. So with that underneath, with the satin shade underneath, it's like a purple. Oh, I love that. I love colors, like um, color theory and like how colors, you know, mix together and you get something else. <laughs> You know, like if you add like more purple to a blue or if you more, add more yellow to a green, that type of thing. But this literally took a shade, as you can see in the swatches, that's more, um, definitely more brown. It doesn't have, it has a cool t undertone, don't get me wrong, but it's more like a brown, a, a deeper, cooler brown. And then when you put it over the satin shade on my eye, my skin tone, it goes almost like a purple, which I just, 
I love that. And I can see why, because the shade we're about to use, the, uh, the metal shade here, definitely has more of that um, cool toned, not pink, it's not pink, but I think this is gonna be really pretty. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Guys, this is exactly what I needed after the week. I've, I mean, my week's not over, but it's such a bad week. Oh, you know, we all have them, right? I mean, what can you do? What can you do? You just have to just keep swimming. Okay, I'm taking a very soft, I mean, super soft. No fallout at all, I haven't had any fallout. Look how beautiful that shade is. That is a stunning shade. I'm gonna go back into the brown, or purpley brown, and just like that. Now. You could just leave it there. It's a gorgeous, purpley, shiny, multi-dimension shade, but I wanna use the green because I wanna I wanna see how this works. Now again, it might not be for you. You might not be you know wanting, you might wanna just take the, the now purplish look that we've created, but I'm gonna take that green. And again, this is the soft matte. And let's just use it. Ugh, it's a beautiful green, billiard green. I'm using it very softly, but you know, even though it's a soft matte, guys, it's pigmented. Like there's no, you know, it's it. there's payoff there and no fallout at all. Okay, let me put on some mascara and let's come back and sum up. Little bit of mascara always makes a huge difference. All right, so I'm gonna cover up an eye to the other eye because at the moment I look a little bit like weird Barbie <laughs> from the Barbie movie. Uh, I don't have drawing on my face, but like the two colors always are so different that I just, it looks, I, it's, it's, yeah, it's distracting. Okay, so this, this look here, and I'll close my eye in just one second. created more of a purple, frankly, look than I thought it was going to um, with, you know, the green in there. I, I didn't necessarily guess that, uh, which I think is really interesting. That's poetry. Uh, now, again, you could do a lot of different things the way that I did it. You can see how I got this look, but you could certainly do more of the green, you could certainly do more of the satin, you could keep the metal shade more on the inner corner. Regardless of how you do it though, very lightweight, very smooth, colors pigment is impressive for how light it is. And there's no fallout, because it's creamy. It's definitely, but it's not like, it's not like the Tom Ford creme, not that type of formula. It's like super thin, which is interesting. I'm not you know, maybe in the description about how it was created, but there's super thin pigment, which hats off to them. I mean, that's, that's impressive. Okay, now this look uh, is pure. Now, using it the way that they suggested, I think you see more demarcation from the shades, you know, because you've got that uh, metallic right in the inner corner, the satin on the eye, and then the uh, uh, ultra matte uh, to line, and the soft matte as like the pop on the uh, outer corner. You can do it like I did it on the other eye to create more of a metallic effect. You could switch it around, but what I will say for both of them, absolutely holds true. They're both super smooth, lightweight, super pigmented in one swatch, and no fallout. Very different looks, but both beautiful. All right, to wrap up guys, I went through the packaging and the pricing and availability. They are on the Prada Beauty site um, in the US. And I don't, I think they'll be at Harrods. They should be at Harrods now and Selfridges. I haven't seen them at other retailers yet, but that's not to say that they won't be there. Um, price points are relatively reasonable given that it's a luxury brand and the refills are definitely a uh, a nice addition so that you can pay a little less and the sustainability of them the packaging i think is awesome it definitely holds true to the to the prada brand the prada look um you know the the prada casing the fact that you've got 
the gold and the silver with the mixed metals and then the different, you know, pigments um, and the different formulas and the fact that they took the patterns and the intensities from their bags and from different fabrics. All over, I have to say, at least this is my, my first take, um, really impressive effort by, by Prada. And I think they put a lot of time and effort and thought into not just the products, but the, the packaging, the presentation, all the little things that matter so much to, to luxury mark, to a luxury brand. So I think it's fantastic. Um, the eyeshadows, I need to play around with them more. I would say very lightweight, very pigmented. There is though, in each one of these, a quote pop of color. And if you're somebody who does not use ever, you know, like a bright yellow or a bright blue or a bright purple, and you never see yourself ever using any of those shades for anything, um, then maybe these aren't for you and that's fine. Lipstick, super comfortable for a soft matte, and it's wearing really nicely. We'll see how it does. This is a very light shade, um, but uh, that's kind of the lipstick shades that I go with. Typolo, soft matte, looks great, looks great as blush, feels nice too. Not, not tacky, not weird, nothing. Foundation, foundation's just gonna take me a while, guys, but this is Ellen 10. I think the match is basically perfect, which is impressive. Feels nice so far. It's not settling into lines. It's not looking weird. Um, I think if you have very dry skin, I used to have very dry skin. I don't have that anymore. I think this might be too matte, but let's just see how this wears. Let's see how it wears. But I think right now, I think right now I like it, which I was not expecting. Overall, a very good day on a, and I'll say it one more time, terrible week. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me to here today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, let me know if you decided to pick up this collection or anything in the collection, or if you're thinking about picking up any of the collection, if there's anything I didn't answer, if you have any questions, anything you want to see. Of course, I will be doing more with these and comparing them to the Clay de Pose and the, y Saint, the Saint Laurent's and Dewar's and Tom Ford's and all of that. I, I hope to have like a you know, a ranking video of like the brands and stuff, uh, best eyeshadows for, you know, like depending on what you're looking for, of course, uh, coming up in the next couple weeks, if I, if I, if I ever get a chance. So again, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.